We're going to solve question two from the 2018 midterm. Now this is a complex question with three parts. The first part asks us to write the node voltage equation, so that's from node voltage analysis. Part B asks for the mesh current equations using the mesh current analysis. And then we pick either set of equations to solve for the node voltages in part C. So uh, in this video, I'm going to do part A and part C, and in the next video, I'll do part B and part C. So you can see what the difference is between uh, using the different methods to solve uh, for the final answers. So now for node voltage, we have to identify the nodes, which have been identified for us as A, B, and C, and the reference node. So that's a good start. So Let's go to the next page and solve for part A. So now this is part A. And let's, the, let's uh, do the node equations for uh, node A. So let's just say nodal at A. OK. What do the node voltages look like? Well, first of all, let's make sure that we label it properly. So we are up here at node A. And when we do node voltage analysis, we assume that the node that we're operating on has the highest voltage in the circuit and that the currents flow outwards from it. So we're assuming that the currents are flowing out from that node, out and out, in every direction from that node. Okay. So now, let's write the node equation with that understanding. So, going over to the left, we see that we have a current source of 3.5 amps going in the same direction as our assumed current direction. So we just write 3.5 amps because in node voltage analysis, we write all of the terms in expressed as currents. So then, let's do the current going down. So that's the current going through this 3 ohm resistor. So then, we write it as VA, and then minus the voltage on the other side of the resistor, which is going to be VB. So it's going to be minus VB, and that's over the resistance that the current is going through which is 3 ohms. So that's a current, okay? And now, let's do the current that is flowing over to the right uh, through the 4 ohm resistor. And we see in that branch that there's a 2 amp uh, current source, and it's in the same direction as our assumed current, so we're going to add that one, so it's plus 2 amps. And then that is equal to 0 because of KCL. So that was current flowing to the right. Okay, so that's a nodal equation uh, for A. Uh, let's do the one for B. So let's do nodal at B. And when we do this one, we have to make sure that we denote VC. So let's do uh, the equations here. And let's just make sure that we know that the currents are going to be going out that way because we're going to be assuming now that VB is the highest uh, voltage node and that all the currents flow out from that node. Okay, So those are the th three currents that are coming out of that node. So let's do the current that's going upwards. So that is going to be VB minus VA divided by 3 ohms. And then, what about the current that's going to the right? Okay, so that's going to be the current going through the right. It's going through the 2 ohm resistor, and the other side of it is the reference node, so it's going to 0 volts. So for this one, we can just write VB divided by 2 ohms, and if we were to write it in full, it would be VB minus 0 divided by 2 ohms. Okay, and then we are left with the current that's going down through the 4 ohm resistor. So that is going to be plus um, VB. VB always appears 
on the leftmost side of the term if we uh, are, are using it, and then it's minus Vc, okay? And that's divided by 4 ohms. Oops. And that's divided by 4 ohms. And that's equal to 0 because of KCL. So that's a, a node voltage equation at node B. So now, let's do the last one. And that's the node voltage uh, equation at node C. So let's say nodal at C. Okay, so then when we are on C, we've got current flowing to the right, I mean to the left, to the right, and up into the 4 ohm resistor. So that's, um, we're assuming now that VC is the highest voltage, and all the currents flow out from it. So then, uh, this equation, let's say we start with the one going to the left, we see that uh, it's a 3.5 amp current source and it is um, in the opposing direction from our reference direction so we have to say it's oops, let's uh, do my uh, blue pen it's minus uh, 3.5 amps okay and then what about the current going up so the current going up is going through that 4 ohm resistor and the expression for that is going to be VC minus VB divided by um, 4 ohms. Okay, and then we've only got the current now going over to the right, and that is going to be VC minus 0, so I'm not going to write the minus 0, so it's just VC divided by 3 ohms. And that's equal to zero. So, and that's of course because of KCL. So those are the node voltage equations for part A. So this is what you would have to write. You don't have to write these little arrows that I've put in there because that's just to help me keep keep it straight. So that's that's your answer for part A. So now let's do part B so that uh, we um, know how to solve for the node voltage equations. And I'm going to use um, Kramer's rule. So let's, uh, let's label these equations. So let's call this one equation one. Let's call this one equation two. It's a two. And call this one equation three. Okay. So now, moving on, Let's uh, simplify the equations. So what we're doing now is we're doing part C of the question. And what, what we're trying to do here is solve for the node voltage, uh, node, solve for the node voltages. Okay, so now we have to put our equations into some standard type of form, okay? So let's go 6 times equation 1, and that's going to result in 21 plus VA, my, oh, 21 minus 2VA, sorry about that, uh, minus 2VB plus 12. is equal to zero. Let's clean that up. Let's just clean that up just to make sure that you don't get confused. Plus two V A. Okay. And now let's just put that in a standard form, collect the terms. So we've got two V A minus two V B. Leave a space for V C and that is equal to minus 33. And let's call that equation four, okay? So then let's simplify uh, equation two. So let's say we have 12 times equation two, and then we get four VB minus four V 
a plus oops six v b plus three v b minus three v c is equal to zero. Okay. And then if we simplify it and put it in a standard form, it's going to be minus 4VA plus 13VB. Let's just clean that up a little bit, make sure that looks like a 13. And then minus 3VC is equal to 0. And we'll call that equation 5. And then for equation 3, we'll go 12 times equation 3. So we're going to have minus 42 plus 3vc minus 3vb plus 4vc is equal to 0. And then putting it into standard form, it's going to be minus 3vb plus 7vc is equal to 42. And call that equation 6. OK. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these equations and put them into matrix form. So we're going to take that one, we're going to take that one, and you know it's just going to be the coefficients, right? We're going to put things in the right place. So we're going to convert that into a matrix form. Okay, so converting into matrix form looks like this. We're going to have 2, minus 2, 0, minus 4, 13, minus 3, 0, minus 3, and 7. And then we're going to have our variables. VA, VB, and VC, and that's going to be equal to the constants. Minus 33, 0, and 42. Okay? So what we've done is converted the equations into matrix form, and then we're going to use uh, Kramer's rule. So, so let's just make a note. Convert equations 4, 5, 6 to matrix form. And then we're going to use Kramer's rule to solve. Use Kramer's rule. Okay, It's just that the uh, equations are a little cumbersome. So now what VA is going to be equal to which I'm sure you know Kramer's rule. So we're going to, for VA, we're going to uh, replace the, uh, uh, the first column with the constants. OK, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so on the top, we are going to have minus 33, minus 2, 0, 0, 13, minus 3, 42, minus 3, and 7. OK? So that's a determinant on the top. And then we're going to have the determinant uh, the coefficient, so um, 
let's just call this A. This, this is matrix A here. Okay. So we're going to have on the bottom uh, 2 minus 4, 0, minus 2, 13, minus 3, 0, minus 3, and 7. And uh, just so you know, this bottom one, that's the determinant of A. Okay. So then, how do we solve this? So I'll just do the first one, and then uh, you'll, you, you know the routine for Kramer's rule. So uh, let, I'll just write it out for this one. So minus 33 times 13 times 7 plus minus 2 times minus 3 times 42 plus 0 times 13 times 42 plus, oops, now we start doing the minuses, right? It's Kramer's rule. It's a determinant, rather, rather, it's the, the, the to calculate the determinant. So we have um, minus uh, 0 times 13 times 42 minus, minus 2 times 0 times 7 minus, minus 33 times minus 3 times minus 3. Okay, so that's a determinant for the top. And then the determinant for the bottom is going to be 2 times 13 times 7 plus minus 2 times minus 3 times 0 plus 0 times minus 4 times minus 3 and then we start subtracting so minus 0 times 13 times 0 minus minus 2 times minus 4 times 7 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 3. Okay, so then we compute that so it becomes VA is equal to minus 2, 4, 5, 4 in the numerator over 1, 0, 8 and that is equal to minus 22.722 volts. Okay, so let's just make that 2 a little bit tidier. So that's a 2. Okay, and so that's one of the results. That's a node voltage for A. Okay, so then continuing for B, uh, I won't write out all that uh, stuff. I'll just make it a little simpler. So what we have is VB is equal to, I'll write out the, mat the matrix for this, 2 minus 33, 0, minus 4, 0, minus 3, 0, 42, and 7, all over the determinant of A, and that is equal to minus 672 over 108. That's what we calculated before. So VB is equal to minus 6.222 volts. So 
that is another node voltage and then the last node voltage is VC is equal to 2 minus 4 0 minus 2 13 minus 3 minus 33 0 and 42 and that is all over the determinant of A and that works out to 360 over 108 and so VC is equal to 3.333 volts okay and that is the last node voltage that we are solving for now in the next video I'll solve this using mesh and you'll see that it's actually um, uh, quite a bit easier uh, with the arithmetic uh, however I want to show you how to solve using Kramer's rule it might uh, simplify uh, some complex manipulations okay